Hi, um, hopefully you've seen uh, our other video about uh, the sunsets that we painted for our windows to cheer people up in uh, as they do their Boris walks. We thought it would be really cool to put nice things in our windows so that when people are taking their um, exercise they can see nice things in the windows. Um, Anyway, uh, so we thought we'd use the same technique to do a bit of a crucifix picture that we could put in uh, the window from now to Easter, really, to remind people um, of the season that we are entering into. Um, I know there's another week, but um, this time next week we'll be in Holy Week. Um, so it's good to remember that in the midst of all this that's going on, uh, that this is actually a really important and special time of year for Christians. Anyway, so what I've done is, uh, the first thing I did was I kind of drew an outline of a body. Uh, I'm not entirely sure it's uh, the right shape, but I, um, I did what I did. And then behind the body, I drew a cross. And now I'm, uh, I'm filling it in with a uh, with black pen as you can see again i'm using a permanent marker so that when i come to add my watercolor it doesn't bleed or um run anything like that so i'll carry on with this and then um when i get onto the watercolor i will i will get you up to date then all right then Okay, so I'm back. I've finished colouring in my crucifix. It's not the best ever shape. Um, if you want to get a bit more of an accurate shape, I'm sure you could print something offline to trace around or copy. Um, but I'm pretty happy that from the uh, window to the pathway that people will recognise what it is. Um, it doesn't have to be super duper like perfect um so anyway i'm gonna start watercoloring now um with this one because it's like i was thinking about the easter story and it's really a lot of um when jesus dies it talks about how the sky went stormy and dark doesn't it so that's really the kind of thing that i was looking for uh, achieving so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna wet my paper a little bit and you can see because I've done sharpie but um, when I run my brush over the over the pen marks that it's not budging that's what you want for this kind of uh, artwork so yeah I want my paper not sopping wet but just damp enough to take the colour. I'm going to actually move the watercolour book from underneath. There we go. And Eli's picture. Give me a bit more room to manoeuvre. There we go. So I'm just really, really making that damp, that paper all damp. And then I will start adding some colour. And as I say, I'm going for a stormy kind of sky. So I think I'm going to go for like blues and purples. And maybe a little bit of grey or black in there as well. That seems pretty, pretty damp now. Make sure that it's all... Just find that if you wet the... This is watercolour paper that I'm doing this on rather than actual um, just regular cartridge paper it just just gives you a bit more leeway with the colors and stuff so i'm going to start with paler colors because with watercolor you really need to go light and build up so i've got like a light purple i'm not worrying too much about going on to my um my black drawing because 
and shouldn't do that you should keep your brush strokes going all in the same direction but I can touch up the black later look that's got a bit too dark anyway I'm going to work on this and I'm going to come back to you so I just want to show you a couple of techniques that I'm using here. Um, one of the things that I'm, uh, I'm, I do when I do watercolour paintings is lift off some of the colour with maybe um, a piece of tip kitchen roll just to, um, yeah, it's a good tip actually for when you've gone wrong but uh, it also gives you, can give you a bit of texture uh, in there. So that's, that's one uh, technique. Another technique I will show you. I'm just going to put some purple on here. How many days are before my birthday? I don't know, Elijah. I've got Elijah here talking about his birthday. Is, um, how many? We'll also flick many. some water onto uh onto the canvas, not the canvas, because this isn't oil. And uh, you can see you get this slightly mottled effect. Hang on, wait for it to focus there. That's where this here is where um, I've splashed some water. So that's quite a nice effect. Another thing you can do is to achieve a slightly mottled effect. Oh, come on, focus. Um, is to um, use salt. Uh, you have to leave the salt on until uh, your painting's dried and then rub it off. But the salt will lift up some of the pigment and uh, and and leave lovely little white sections, which is really nice. So you see here, I just love it when the colours kind of merge in with each other. I'm going to put some water on there. To kind of can you see see that lovely effect from the water there and the bleeding of the two colors there I love that so yeah as you can see it's coming along what I am going to need to do up oh, it keeps on focusing it's very annoying what I'm going to need to do obviously you can see here where the colors gone onto the silhouette but that's something that we can deal with um, just clean that up at the end um, but yeah, I'm quite happy so far. I'm going to keep going. Okay, so I'm just about finished now with uh, this uh, painting that I'm going to put in our window for Window Wonderland people to check out. Um, it was a very simple um, silhouette um, with watercolour and we looked at some techniques such as lifting up the paint with uh, tissues um, and uh, some splashing water on to make paint go uh, can you see there a little bit mottled and get some nice edges I also splash some paint on at the end um, can you see some darker color paint which is gives a bit of a, a cosmic effect really um, showing that Christ is oh it's gone blurry if I need yeah Christ is the the king of the whole universe indeed um yeah so i hope you enjoyed that um i'd love to see if you're going to have a go i'd love to see your um paintings and um yeah keep being creative um it's a great time a great opportunity to explore all your creative um gifts and i do believe that everybody has creative gifts and uh be well, take care and look forward to more making, creating videos from us. Good night.